The She-Hulk trailer just dropped, so it's time for my best She-Hulk theories, including Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Abomination, and more. Let's get started with the general plot of the story, and then we'll get into the juicier theories later. So I think in the very first episode where we start with her origin story, it's going to be either during the blip or right around the time of Shang-Chi. This is the biggest part that I can't figure out where the show is taking place exactly, but I have reasons for both. So in the comics, Jennifer Walters is involved in a gunshot accident, and it's because of a crime boss. And I think if they did this in the show, it would be really cool cool if they had that angle maybe she gets too close to a certain crime boss and he sends out a hit on her to stop her from finishing the case and that's how she gets shot and ultimately then she needs a blood transfusion but based on the trailer it looks like there's going to be a car accident and that's going to be the way that she starts her injury and then that starts her origin so as cool as i think the first way would be it seems like a car accident is how they're going but either way she gets injured and needs a blood transfusion and this is where bruce banner comes in and gives his blood but of course it saves her but with a consequence of her becoming the she hulk because of that gamma altered DNA. Well, I can't figure out if this is going to be during the blip or around the time of Shang-Chi is because in the Shang-Chi post credit scene, Bruce Banner being back in his human form. And then in this trailer, he's back as the smart Hulk. So I don't know if that's just something that he could do just through a hologram and he's really just Professor Hulk the whole time. Or maybe in this show, we see that he actually learns how to go between whichever phase he wants willingly. And this is how he helps She-Hulk control her powers eventually. Or maybe it's the case that Bruce gives his blood as Professor Hulk and then after he gives his blood he just turns back into bruce but once again in the trailers he's professor hulk so this is the part that i'm really not sure about moving on though i think that she's going to end up hulking out during a high profile case that's highly televised which leads to everybody finding out about her and she hulk because as we see in the trailer it's not a secret and it turns her into kind of a celebrity so something in the public has to happen to make everybody know that she is she hulk now in the trailer we hear her being recruited to join the superhuman law division and this immediately makes me think that she will be defending abomination Nation. Maybe Abomination tries to make some kind of plea for a release from jail and pleads that it's like gamma induced insanity or, or something like that. And Jennifer Walters agrees to take the case after being exposed to the gamma radiation and becoming She-Hulk because maybe she could understand what he's going through and how it's so hard to control your other form. And obviously we know Bruce is not going to trust Abomination and somehow I think this is where Wong is going to tie into this show because we know Wong's in this series and Wong was seen with Abomination in Shang-Chi. So maybe Wong uses the astral projection powers to push him out of his body but something has to happen where Wong and Abomination becomes friends by the time of Shang-Chi. This is another reason why I think this could take place in the blip or at least before Shang-Chi because Wong and Abomination's friendship kind of thing going on in there makes no sense but it will probably get explained how that happened in this and Maybe series. he does end up getting let free but with the condition that he has to work with the Avengers which is more like Hulk, Wong, and Captain Marvel that we see in that Shang-Chi post credit scene. And while we're on Abomination still I think it's very likely that we see him him or some other antagonist in this show join the Thunderbolts by the end of the series. If you don't remember the Thunderbolts, it's the team that the Valentina character was forming in the end of Black Widow in the post credit scene and in the end of Falcon and Winter Soldier. It includes US agent Yelena, and it could even include characters like Ghost, Taskmaster, and Zemo, but we're not sure about those 100% yet. But a lot of the Disney Plus shows seem to have been building towards that, so I think this show will continue that theme. Now take one second of your time, hit that like button, and let me know in the comments what your best theory is for the She-Hulk series. Now on to the big thing that everybody wants to hear. Everybody wants Daredevil to appear in this show, and the fact that we just got a new Daredevil series confirmed makes me think it's very likely, and I think Charlie Cox is definitely going to come back and make an appearance as Matt Murdock in this series. I think we could just see him in a small role a few episodes in. Maybe he's in a case against Jennifer Walter so we get to see a little bit more of his actual skills but the theory I like better is that I think the two might end up being friends actually and when Jennifer turns into She-Hulk Matt Murdock reveals his alter ego of Daredevil to Jennifer and that's how those two kind of relate because she'll think that nobody can relate exactly to her situation she has Bruce to relate to the Hulk part but not to the kind of double life situation so I think this could be a perfect way to introduce Matt Murdock fully as the Daredevil character because I don't see them bringing him in again just to be Matt again like they did in Spider-Man No Way Home if they have him in this show, they're gonna at least confirm that he is Daredevil. Obviously, we all know that, but they're gonna show us something or have him just say the word Daredevil, show the suit, but they gotta do something to get us hyped for the series and to kind of throw the fans a bone here. And a lot of people think that Jessica Jones is actually gonna be in this series, and people think that maybe Jennifer Walters is gonna be defending her in a certain case. Maybe that's how the show starts on a little scene like that, and she's not in the rest of the series. I don't know. I do think it would be cool to see Jessica Jones in here, but definitely Daredevil should be the focus. But if we don't see Daredevil in here at least we have hope that he will appear in the echo series and we just gotta hope and pray that the disney plus daredevil show is good now check out my thor love and thunder theories on screen right now and i'll see you guys in the next one